With um, a looting cement, we have a cement which is less filled, and everything which is less filled has a higher shrinkage. Everything which is less filled has much more organic filler, which is the resin. Therefore, the shrinkage plus, let's say, the resin, uh, which tends to this color over time, uh, has, let's say, certain negative aspects. If we now as we have the situation with those veneers, as they don't break, as they you know, kind of bend, because they are more flexible due to the fact that we have this glass surface sitting on that composite body or pillow, as you would like to name it. Um, and now we can use, let's say, a high field material, which has, of course, a certain thixotropy. And now, of course, those materials only shrink by about 2%. And um, as they have much higher field, there is less resin. And less resin means, of course, less risk of discoloration. And overall, this, of course, creates a perfect setup, uh, which we call, let's say, a monoblock setup, because the veneer very much mimics natural enamel from the flexural modulus. Now, underneath, we have a restorative material, of course, which in this case we use as a cement and also as the material which provides the final color. Uh, which is somewhere between natural enamel and dentin from the flexural strength. And then we have the tooth. And so when we do masticated tests or thermocycling tests, this is why we say this is kind of a monoblock because we have a very, let's say, equal distribution of forces or let's say by temperature changes, shrinkage or expansion, where they kind of manage together. Versus with ceramic, of course, we have something on top which is at least twice as hard as natural enamel, very solid, underneath a soft, cement, let's say low field, and then the tooth. So we have three different things which have to work out together. And in this field, we find many advantages. Next to the fact that, of course, having those, this composite layer underneath the veneer creates a much better adhesion than just having a pure ceramic meeting, let's say, a resin cement.